today we're taking a look at the red trails in the Port de Soleil. So we're gonna pick a few sections that you guys might wanna have a better look at. Take a look at the trail, take a run through them to see if you guys are ready to tackle it yourselves. First up is Leger, let's session. Let MK. Starting off very rough. We partnered up with MTB Tribe. Here's word from Gareth. Hey Mountain Bikers, my name is Gareth Beckett, the host of the MTB Tribe podcast, helping you find out more about mountain biking, how to get out on the trails, keep you stoked, and hopefully learn a little more about mountain biking and the people involved. My thoughts of the J bike park at the moment are do your best to avoid the braking bumps. Take any line you can. Little feature on one of the reds. Got this uh, small double, step down. Just a few feet. Really nothing too much to worry about. You can almost roll off of it and it's pretty safe. Um, which then leads you into these burns. You can go around it. The Shaban Red is made up of loads of huge big berms, quite a long trail actually, quite mellow, um, a lot of breaking bumps. Now this feature catches a lot of people out, you used to see loads of ambulances down on that double. You can see it from the lift clearly and it doesn't look that big, but then when you're riding it, you've actually got to take a lot of speed into it and if you come up short, it's an over the bars job. So yeah, this, this jump's prone to hurting people, but you can go around it. Just make sure you carry good speed, bit of pop, no trouble. So what we've done now, we've ventured off the map and onto these unmarked trails and to me, in my personal opinion, this is the best bit of Leger. We're on Big Fat Donkey and we've come to this pretty steep section, but a good thing about it is there's about six different lines you can choose. The easiest line, far left, quite gradual, off camber, and then to the hardest line, you've got this double into a quite a steep little gully. Straight through, threading the needle. Woo! Whoa. Is it a red? Probably a bit more difficult. Red slash flat. Quite technical. You like it? Yeah, it was Yeah, awesome. boy. Oh my God, that was so good. There's so much of that. That was so good. <laughs> yeah. That's what I love. So we're down in Leger Bike Park, the lower section. We've got this little jump, mini jump park. So there's three different lines. The blue, the red, and the black. The blue is some nice mellow rollers. The red is some mellow tabletops. And then the black's got a few doubles with a little um, wall ride in it. On the black section here, it's great for tackling doubles for the first time, because they're quite mellow. And if you're hitting the, the middle line, the red line, also really good for practicing jumps because they're just mellow tabletops. Let's now shoot over to the other side of the Port de Soleil with some more amazing red trails. Right, 
right now. We're on the border of Switzerland. We're gonna drop into this red run. The drop in looks very intimidating just because of the altitude we're at. But um, the trail itself isn't too bad. Quite rocky, really flowy, and just incredible views as you can see. Just pure bliss. Ready to drop in. Sick! So, yeah, quite a few rocks up here. Quite, quite a technical trail, but it can be taken at quite slow speed. But you're definitely going to want some bike skill. Right, so we're halfway through this, and I'd probably say this is the most challenging section on this run. Um, it used to be quite a gnarly rock shoot, but there's been a bit of a line developed to the left, so it's not too bad. Bit of a GoPro effect, but it's not overly steep. You've got to go nice and easy. The, the old line used to be kind of through all of this stuff. Yes, so. Yeah. Come on, so. Yes, Joe, nice. It's the rock shoot. Woo. Oh, it gets a bit steeper. Woo. A bit greasy as well on the floor. We had quite a lot of rain yesterday, but it's dried out nicely. The weather hasn't really affected it too much. Whoa! This is awesome. Oh yeah! You can really get into these birds. This track just has flow for absolute miles. It's awesome. You see behind me some really nice slipbacks that just hook you up perfectly and just bounce between them. Feel that flow and just smiles all around. So on this trail there's quite a few uh, sweeteners, I'd call them. Hits that you can easily roll, but if you're really going for it, you can double them up. So it makes it good for beginners and, and pros. Woo! Like that one. <laughs> Lovely 
rock. Whoa! Such a fun trail. It's a bit of a bike user because there's quite oh because it's such a fast track. And there's quite a few little bumps, it's not too rough. Oh, here we go, wrong line there. Oh, I love this bit, this berm. Woo! As fast as you dare. Route six. Woo! That is a lap of the Crozette's Red. Friggin' awesome. This is episode two of a mini series where we're taking a look at the beginners, intermediate and expert trails in the PDS. So if you want to see more from the Port de Soleil, be sure to check the rest of the videos out. Here's a bit more from Gary. And it is my pleasure to team up with Jamie and the MTB Trail Hub for this episode. So head on over to mtb-tribe.com for more information on this episode, hear Jamie's interview and much, much more MTB content.